I'm uh, in Port Navas, which is a creek off the Helford River. And you can see what an absolutely beautiful place it is. Lovely. Now, I was going to come and catch some gilt head bream here, or try to, but a very late uh, change of plan meant I had to, last night, uh, get myself ready and come down today. And unfortunately, I couldn't get any bait, which <laughs> is rather disappointing. I've got lots of lures and, and other um, attractors. Uh, sadly, I'm probably not going to catch gilt heads, but I'll have a go with some bass and one or two other things. Great stuff. The first place I went to was Pole Weatherall Creek, which is where you can usually catch quite a few uh, gilt head bream if you get the tide right. Uh, and I thought I had. I was a bit short of bait, so I had to improvise. But, you know, it's such a lovely place to go. I thought I'd give it an hour. Here we are coming up the creek. And in fact, there are fish breaking on the surface everywhere. Well, breaking, popping up. I don't know whether they're mullet or probably mullet. There might be bass and there's curly in the background. I didn't have much luck with the gilt head bream. They weren't playing and obviously uh, a lack of suitable bait, either crabs or ragworm, got in the way. So I decided to go out to the mouth of the river and try for some bass. So it's a bit of a murky day. It's very, very hot earlier on. This is where I've been catching the bass by trolling and spinning all along inside that, what's called Mornan Shear, right up to that rock over on the far side. Now this area is, is known for bass, although well, we've had a few over the years, uh, you have to persevere at it um, and you have to be very careful because there are rocks just under the surface right close in and actually coming out quite a long way as you get down the bottom of the, of the, the area, the, uh, the, the point there. Um, so you have to be very careful. There it is, what a beauty, what a beautiful bass. It took the savage gear lure, savagely, and uh, boy, it took quite a lot to get in. I had to push the boat back a bit in the tide in order to be able to uh, to land it. I better move the boat now because we're sort of drifting into the rocks here. Fantastic. In all, I caught quite a few fish in that spot. Uh, I was using poppers casting into the rocks or savage gear sand eels. Uh, which were the most effective ones, that's what I call all fishing, either trolling or casting in and uh, uh, retrieving them you know, in quite deep water. And now that's the day over, boat's moored uh, and I'm going to go back to the house. Great, what a lovely day. <laughs>